I'm Donnie Brown, and this is Penelope, and you're watching The Pavlina Show. Hey everyone, it's Pavlina from The Pavlina Show, and I am here in New York City at the LGBT Expo, and I'm here with Donnie Brown, who is a celebrity uh, wedding planner. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you, Pavlina? I am great, and it's so nice, because uh, you were at the event in Texas with me, That's that right. I hosted an event there, and now we're meeting up again in New York. It's crazy. Well, that's how good relationships work. I know. We're, we're taking it to the next level, guys. That's we're right. official friends. That's <laughs> right. And this is our baby. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. You're yes. so cute. I know, because I, I knew you had pugs. Yes. So I was just like, I have to bring my new pug. And then he's like, obviously, you're in love with her. It's oh a great. Oh, my God. She's darling. What did you say her name was? Penelope. Penelope. I have Arabella. Aw. Yeah. How old is Arabella? She's 10 months. Oh, my God. She's darling and very spoiled. Really? Oh, yeah. She's already spoiled. I've had her. I got her. Let's see, a couple days ago, it's been about five days so far, and yeah, she's already very spoiled, so. They, they really do mark their master, and she will want to be where you are all the time. Yeah, she's the same way. If she can't see me, like, around the apartment, she freaks out. Yeah. She's like, where are you? All this other <laughs> she just yawned. <laughs> Okay, so how did why wedding planning? Like, how did you get into that? Everything. Well, um, I was 16 years old, and a family friend owned a flower shop, and they called one weekend and said, "We've got people out sick. We need warm bodies. We've got weddings, and we need help." So I went to help them, and I continued helping them on weekends when I was free during school, and then I went to college, came out of college, and continued doing it. So I'm. It's just what I've done my whole life. Weddings are my life. Yeah. 35 years of weddings. I know, 35 years. That's a, that's a really long time. How many weddings have you done in those 35 years? Uh, about 3,600. That is a lot of weddings. What is like your favorite like theme? Like, is there like, oh my gosh, they're doing like this kind of theme? I, I'm so excited to to prepare for it. I hate themes in weddings. <laughs> I can't stand them. Well, because you know, I've done everything. I've yeah. done everything you can possibly imagine when it comes to a theme. And for me, it's always about bringing the personality of the couple in, yeah. making it feel like it's an extension of them yeah. as opposed to a theme. But I've done Alice in Wonderland. I've had those big yeah. giant flowers along the walls. I've had it all. Yeah. Um, but what we normally do is we, we develop a color palette okay. and then we try to make it personal to the couple so that it feels like their event. That's okay. what we try to do. Yeah, that's perfect. So you like you sit down with them. Like, So tell me how like the process works okay. for a couple and everything. Like, just like sitting down with them. Well, they come to me and then we have a conversation about what they want, you know, what their budget is and or what their their expected budget is. But we we do a 2-hour intensive discussion about what it is they want and how deep they want it. Uh, anything that we need to develop for them versus whatever their expectations are. And then we go back and we uh, analyze it to death. Okay. All right. We analyze it to death and we make sure that we've got all our ducks in a row. We build a planning calendar and a budget. And we say, okay, the wedding you've described, this is what it's going to cost. It's usually not what they want. <laughs> so we, we redline the things out of it that that will not affect the overall aesthetic of the wedding, but yet get the to the budget where that they want it to be. So it's that's always the money parts up front. Once the money's over, then we can have fun and actually plan it and follow the directions. Yeah, that's perfect. There you go. What has been one wedding that would just like brought tears to your eyes and you were like, this is so perfect. It's oh my word. Well, I've had a lot of them. Uh, you know, I did Leanne Rhymes first wedding, which was, she really put, she put me on the map. That's, I, I hung on to her coattails for a very long time and we're still friends to this day. Um, but I've done a lot of NFL weddings and NBA weddings and, you know, I think probably my, if I had to look back on one that I'm most fond of, it would have been Leanne's first wedding. It was just 
ethereal. It was just beautiful. But I've had so many wonderful ones. And on TV, I did a lot. I had one couple where the bride had breast cancer and had had a double mastectomy, and she got married. The look on her face when she put that white gown on and she was adjusting herself under the under the dress, and it was the most emotional thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, but they're just so appreciative, you know. Someone who's come that close to death, they're very appreciative. As are gay couples, they're very appreciative of the fact that they can get married now. They want to get married. For many years, we had uh, a lot of a lot of gay couples that would come to us, but nobody ever booked. They never were really serious. Now, they come in ready to book their weddings and have a wedding. Yeah, that's amazing. That's oh, she's like falling asleep. That's Aww. that's cute. <laughs> What are some upcoming weddings that you have that you're like excited to, like to plan? Well, the one I'm most excited about is in a couple of weeks, and it's it's Aqib Talib from the Denver Broncos, who just won the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. He's uh, noted as being the best corner in all of football, and we're doing his wedding in Dallas in a couple of weeks. That is amazing. Really excited about it. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. There you go. Now, if people want to book a wedding or, you know, they want to they have you plan their stuff, well, how can they find you? They can find me at DonnieBrown.com. And uh, then, of course, we have Facebook. Uh, w. Donnie Brown on Facebook is my fan page. You can get to me in a lot of ways. Twitter, Instagram, I'm all over the place. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you, Pavlina, and thank you for the gift. I'll see you later. Oh.